Hey, what's going on, foul players? So, been away for a while. Took about a week off and went with uh, Scott and a couple other buddies and went down to Cape Coral, Florida. Did a little inshore fishing. Had a pretty good time. Caught a bunch of spotted sea trout. Um, some uh, mangrove snapper. And uh, one of my buddies hooked on to a trophy snook that looked like he was over 36 inches. Couldn't quite get him to the boat though, but had a great time. I took some, I didn't get any good fishing footage just because I was too busy catching fish. Uh, but took some other kind of riding around the boat footage. I may post that. Um, look forward if you guys are interested. If the footage looks interesting, I'll post it. But back out to the farm here for the first time in about nine days. Last time we were out here, the rice had about seven, eight inches of water on it. It looked really good. I'm walking into the back side of the big hole right now. About to get my first look of it. We're going to have our first look together in about nine days to see how it's doing. I just got a peek through the trees. I think I'm going to be a happy man. But uh, like I said, I think I said, don't know if I said, uh, today's July 30th, 2023. Um, it's my birthday, by the way. I'm 55 years old today. So out here checking out how our rice is doing. And, uh, you know, we're closing in on duck season ever closer every day, right? So we're going to come up. I'm coming in here. And uh, water is down. I expected. We didn't get much rain over the last week. Very, very mucky. Um, we get maybe just on the river stages. I think we might have got one rain while I was gone. But uh, here we are coming in. And uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, this is awesome. So uh, you can probably hear us mucking through here, right? We still got standing water. Good. Um, you ready? You ready to see what it looks like? Here we go. Look at all that rice. Look at all that rice. Yeah, and I am still in. A few inches of water all the way back here but guys we got rice oh yeah oh yeah this uh this is great everything's still got his feet wet man <clears throat> couldn't be happier with this couldn't be happier you know being away for a week i just had no idea what was going on but she looks good i even got fish in here I think that is what I would refer to as perfect. <laughs> There's rice going all the way back here in the back behind me. Smart weed beyond that that looks really strong. Try to slow down here. Gotta get rid of this buck brush. 240 is supposed to kill it. Let me come back in later this week and hit that with 240 because I think that's safe for the rice. However, 240 does kill smart weed. Uh, so I'll be careful in that regard. But goodness gracious. You can certainly tell where it gets more sun. But, um, wow, 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 wow. This is going to be good. Super, super excited by all of this. Um, so, when did I plant this? June 19th. So, what's this, about six, six weeks? Something like that. July 30th, June 19th to July 30th. Pretty, um, pretty close to about that. And it is going bananas. So... Let me uh, put you on pause real quick. Let's walk around the other side and just see how things look. I brought some uh, Japanese millet seed that I had just laying around from last season that I thought I might throw out, but I don't think I have anywhere dry to throw it out. So may not go out, but hold on. Let's go around and see what it looks like on the other side. How's that look? It looks good, doesn't it? And it's even going all the way back here. So I've got rice growing thickly, I don't think. Too thickly. Obviously, I am not a professional farmer by any stretch of the imagination. But um, I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, it's, it's good coverage, but not too thick. I think I mentioned earlier, I thought I had um, my rice planted too thick last season. I think that hurt competition, but this is lush and green and perfect. I mean, that is almost a completely perfect field. We do see buck brush, like I mentioned a second ago, but I'm right here in front of me. That's probably going to get an application to 24D this week. That's supposed to kill it. Um, it will kill any smart way to hits as well, but I can keep that to a minimum. I think that's worth the trade off because one of the things I've mentioned. Um, 
as I want to get all the stumps out of here and killing the buck brush will keep those stumps from growing back. So that's what I'm looking for here is, is mostly eliminating the buck brush. It's a trip hazard. It soaks water out of the soil that could be going to our crops. It shades things out. Um, and one of the things that I think I need here is more open water visible to the ducks as they fly over. I mentioned before, I saw a bunch of ducks flying over this spot last year. Uh, towards the end of the season, I had a couple that gave me a look. I had some ellards come over just treetop high once or twice, uh, but not enough here to interest him to come back. I, I did see him on cameras at the end of the season when I was putting out hundreds of pounds of corn um, just to try to get him to remember the spot. So anyway, those are my goals, right? Get the stumps out. It'll also make it easier next year for me to plant and get ready. So that's really my goal before I do much effort of maybe trimming back more trees is you'll see our piles of brush we have piled up over here uh, and some back there um, there's some back here as well i will probably pull most of this stuff out in the center and burn it some of it's bigger i'll save for firewood because we do camp out here from time to time um but uh i'll probably burn that stuff off and then get these stumps that's my plan for next year but right now my plan is to sit back with a big smile on my face while I look at how my rice is going. Goodness. Okay, so I ran up to the truck, grabbed some of the Japanese millet seed. I've got, what's that, a two and a half gallon bucket? I got about two gallons of Japanese millet seed that I had left over from last season. Is it still viable? I'm gonna say almost certainly yes, because as we saw, I've got it coming up volunteer in the bean hole and that stuff was flooded for five months or whatever so <clears throat> if it didn't rot out in water it certainly didn't rot out in a bag in my garage so i'm gonna throw some under this big tree here uh, which is an interesting spot and probably gives me motivation to take this tree out last year because as you can see nothing's growing well underneath it and when the water is down i can see a dry area under this tree you can probably notice where it's just not as good looking as the rice just passed it that's where this tree is sucking water out of the soil so not only is it blocking me blocking a little bit of sunlight back here but you know blocking my access to shoot ducks it's also sucking water out of my dirt so i'm gonna throw it throw a little bit in here just hand seeding it this is nice and wet this is perfect conditions you see how this is really i mean that's that's what you want when you're top sowing uh, Japanese millet it will love this and will probably be growing in just a handful of days I've got a little bit back here back in the back by those trees that gets a lot of good sunlight there so I'm sure that will take off on by these shaded areas I don't think there's anything I can hit through there just because there's nothing that's not in water and or covered by rice you know and that ain't a bad thing is it so I'm just gonna hit these little bare dirt areas through here maybe some over there back here back in there small areas i'm just talking about sweetening the pie a little bit right and then i'll walk back there and see if we have any exposed mud i bet we don't i think that area is a little lower back there i bet we don't have anything but hey we'll give it a shot so let me throw this seed out and um we'll take a look at the back see what's going on So I'm not putting this stuff out real thick, just getting small handfuls of it, I'm just kind of tossing it. I don't want to overdo it. I think I'm definitely the kind of guy that would overdo it. I built a wooden boat once, had so many nails in it, it sank. But, uh, so, uh, I'm trying not to overdo it. Just a little bit of a light dusting of this stuff, it doesn't take much. Um, I think less can be more. It's in some way here with this. So I'm just throwing it out. Just get a little bit of seed on the ground. And hopefully it grows. And we have just that much more duck food. I don't know the specific um, maturation date. Depending on who you ask, it could be anywhere between 50 to 60 days to 80 to 90 days. Apparently there are multiple varieties of Japanese millet, which I didn't know until just a few minutes ago when I googled it. Um, but um, so we don't we don't want to overdo it on this, uh, you know, just in case it doesn't work or it's not worth it. I think 
90 days even puts me in August, September through October. You still get warm weather then. I probably won't have this completely flooded. Actually, once it starts growing, it can take wet feet, so it'd be fine. So I do remember the stuff I put out last year in July seemed like it matured too soon. So maybe this is an earlier maturing variety and it'll work. I don't know, we'll see. I'll go back there and throw some more seed. Oh gosh. All right, I got that seed out, Japanese milk seed out. And uh, you can see there's, you know, this is good exposed mud flats, which as, as I mentioned before, is perfect for planting that Japanese millet. Um, it just loves growing in that environment. So this will probably sprout, it'll be sprouted by the end of the week. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I even threw some on the lower water over here. It doesn't sink like a rice seed does, but I figured, well, it grew in the bean hole in water. So I figured it couldn't hurt. That water will probably evaporate. I need to check the forecast, but if uh, if it continues hot, sunny skies for the next several days, I bet this water evaporates some more and it'll grow, right? So I spread it all around. I don't know how that'll good that'll do in the shade. This area right here in the sun is going to explode, I have no doubt. Um, I didn't go super thick. Let me find an area for you. I mean, this is all seed here. That's actually kind of a thick clump. Over here, you can see the little seeds on the ground. I didn't go super thick. I don't think you need to. Like I said, less may be more. And I've got a bad habit of sometimes thinking that too much is good enough, right? So I got that in. That's looking good. Now we just wait. We're on the other side, back in the back hole, uh, and see if there's any mud flats there that I can sweeten with this millet. Let's go check it out. Yeah, as expected, too much water back here to throw any seed. Um, ugh, cobwebs. But uh, that's all thick. That's that's gonna be thick this season. We're gonna have to probably, if we want to hunt this, clear it out some next spring. I don't know. We'll see how the season goes. But no millet in here. No mud flat to throw it on. Um, knee deep water out there at least. So whatever. That's fine. I'm not complaining. Maybe ducks are coming in here anyway. So I'm going to run out. I may stop by one or two other places that I don't really hunt, but that kind of get a little um, moist, you know, and, and might be a place to plant this maybe just in case somebody wants to come through and eat it sometime. So. I'm going to head out of here. That's a big nasty spider on my seeds. And uh, next we'll probably go take a look at the bean hole, see how she's doing. Well, that answered one of my questions. I kind of wondered if, you know, coming up volunteer, it would make seed. I know, like, corn doesn't necessarily do that, but rice has a... It's actually part of the practice when they harvest rice for agricultural purposes. They throw out some, I think, nitrogen-rich fertilizer and get a second crop in one season. So I really didn't think it was gonna be an issue, but it's pretty cool to see. We already have rice coming out end of July and I, I actually have rice and there's there's some there. I bet if I stand here, I can find a bunch more. Um, you know what? I'm very happy with that. I knew this was gonna mature early. Last year, I don't think my rice matured early enough, but this year I think obviously this is. Um, I guess that stuff's two months behind so this has been in six weeks that means maybe six well two months from now uh, august september first of october that stuff will mature well but i don't there's also heat days right rice needs heat to and that's got more heat in the early part of its growing it's actually growing faster than this did when it was young so whatever i'm not gonna do the math on that but we got rice coming in here um you can, it's funny, you can see the lower areas because the rice looks healthier. I think I might come back in here if I get the pump running after it got flooded last season. And uh, maybe um, flood this. Just give it a nice drink of water. I'll take a look at the forecast. If we don't have any significant rain in the 10 day, then I think it's probably a good idea to come out here and um, give it a drink. Right, rice loves water, um, so I just don't want to give it too much water when there's seeds because I bet Mr. Duck shows up and starts to eat them. But uh, yeah, looking pretty good out here today. I look out across there, that's almost all duck food. There's smart weed right here, 
There's that barnyard grass that I'm sure is getting ready to explode. And of course there's the rice. Um, and I will mow this down about 1st of October. I think that rice turns brown when it matures, so I'll be watching for that. Um, mow this down, probably cut up all the stumps that you can't see right now. Not stumps, small stuff from the buck brush I cut. And get that taken out, get it ready to flood. I haven't thought about it. I'll probably flood this first. I don't think I'll flood it for our two weeks in October. Probably just hunt the creek or the river for that. But right after that, probably two weeks before the season is when I'm gonna start flooding this. Two weeks, I'll like first of November, I'll probably flood this. Um, and we'll see, but it's looking good, looking good. So nine days away from the duck farm. Everything's looking dandy, super happy with it. Just more waiting, right? So, hey, thanks for watching again. Uh, as always, you know my name, I'm Bruce, and this is Foul Play Outdoors.